It's the end of June 2018. I can't believe it. Last day of June. And I've got a mail recap. And I, oh, you know what? I did actually pick up some of these cards at my LCS as well. So I'm just going to get right into it. And I have some other cards to kind of talk about the cards I picked up. But the first one is this number three. And this is the Prime Numbers, Very Bonds. And what's cool about this card is it completes a rainbow. I'll show you guys. Uh, so this is the prime number is on the back here. You could tell it's 374. And so there are three cards, three, seven, and four as part of the rainbow. So Don Russ did a really interesting way of numbering these cards, and I will explain. So on... The seven and the four, the more common versions are the non-die cut versions. But on the three, the non-die cut is much rarer. And here's an example of the die cut version. And this one's also numbered to 374. But Don Ross always made it fun back in the 90s. So there are 374 of this card. The first 300 were die cut. And the last... 74 were non die cut, so this one's tougher to find. And I know on the four, the th first 370 were non die cut, like this one, and then the last four were die cut, so this one's really tough to find. Obviously, I don't have the die cut version. And on the seven, I don't know how many of these are the non die cut and how many are the die cut. I'm assuming the 74 are die cut. And then 300 of them are non-die cut. But anyways, I got that. And then also on that same one, there was a sample card. So not only did I complete the rainbow on the nine die cuts, but I completed the rainbow on the sample, the die cut, and the regular. So picking this card up was pretty cool. It, it helped me complete two cool rainbows. So that's enough for the prime numbers and the fun that Don Russ made it to collect their numbered cards back in the 90s. And then my next pickup, I really like this card a lot. I like unique relics and this is a game used shoe. Game used shoe. And this is part of a set with different relics. So I've now obtained the game use shoe. I know there's a game use bat card. I don't have that one. And another unique piece, a game use wristband. And then we got the game use jersey. So I, I probably at some point will go look on the checklist and see how many I'm missing. I, I should probably try to find the bat. The bat card could probably be had for very cheap. But so far I have three in the set and I think there's probably between five and ten different relic cards all different relics on that set and then my lcs pickup so when i went to the lcs eric and i oh wait one more ebay pickup i got this record breakers fan club bat card of barry bonds this one's number to 150 so that's a cool pickup these are pretty tough to find an older card an older relic card numbered Pretty low numbering for that time. Not super rare, but not super easy to find. But I, overall, pretty tough to find, but not like super duper duper rare. And then at my LCS, I picked these three cards up for 20 bucks. So I'll show you what I got. First, I got this beautiful Frank Thomas refractor from 1996 Bowman's Best. Woo, beautiful shine. Love it. Love it. And that's the preview refractor from 96 Bowman's Best. Those are pretty easy to find, not that rare. And decided to pick up a Vladimir Guerrero Bowman rookie card. I do have one of these, so but having two is nice. I just like old rookie cards, especially in the 90s and, and earlier. Never have enough Vladdy rookies. And then this is a neat little pickup here, something that you don't see too often. And it's an autograph card from the Giants shortstop. He was part of the... 2001 World Series team, or 2002, excuse me, World Series team, San Francisco Giants, Rich Aurelia. So nice auto there for the Giants PC. So that's pretty much everything for today. 
And thank you guys for watching, and as always, happy collecting!